So this man killed his wife all because his family members convinced him that she was a witch. The trial of Francis Onebe has revealed a lot of family secrets that is eventually beginning to pose a motive as to why he may have murdered his wife, 62-year-old Mary Immaculate Onebe. This is why I say as a woman, if your husband people don't like you, leave and don't come back. For Mary, she had left, but somewhere along the line, after 14 years of separating from her husband, she came back. But this time around, she left for good. We've talked about this story as far back as 2021, so let's revisit it for those of us who are not familiar with this story. So, on the 6th of January 2021, 62-year-old Mary Immaculate Onebe went missing. It was said she had gone out to get groceries, and on her way coming back, it seemed as though she vanished. When she didn't return home, her husband, 63-year-old Francis Onebe, informed the police. And instantly, an investigation was launched into her disappearance. At the initial time, it was believed, according to what CCTV footage revealed during the last sighting of her, that she may have been falsely arrested by police officers who were not in uniform. Because that period of time, there was a political situation in Uganda, and the police authorities were going around picking up people who they thought were involved in the protest. And according to the CCTV footage that showed where Mary was last seen before she disappeared, it was said that someone was walking behind her. And then a minivan passed her and that was the last time they saw her. So that situation made people believe that she was abducted and kidnapped. However, for many months, the police could not get any leads. Everywhere was searched. All the prisons and all the authorities who may have possibly arrested her falsely were asked but no one had seen her. Francis, her husband, even went on national television crying and pleading to the public to find his wife. And for nearly eight months, there was no sign of Mary Immaculate Onebe. It was almost as though she vanished from the surface of the earth. But this is where her disappearance became very tricky and this is how she was eventually found. Around the same time she went missing, her gate man, a man named Sonny, also disappeared in the compound where she shared with uh, her husband, Francis. You know, family members came and they were all searching for her, they were looking around the neighborhood. And at a point during her disappearance, they noticed that Sonny, the gate man who was there before, was no longer coming to work. He was nowhere to be found. Was he fired? Did he run away? Or was he also taken along with Mary? The fact that Sonny was not around for questioning by the police that were carrying out the investigation was suspicious and problematic but who knows it may have also been a coincidence however people had eyes on Sonny people believe that Sonny may have known something about Mary's disappearance so after eight months in September of that same year in the middle of the night it was believed that Sonny the gate man suddenly showed up out of nowhere he scaled the fence into Francis Onebe's compound it's unclear what he was coming to do or what he came for however the new security man who was in the house at the time quickly saw him and had him locked up in a bathroom he was hiding till it was daybreak and the police was involved and Sonny was arrested. And that was when Sonny was questioned as to why he came back and about the whereabouts of Mary Immaculate. And that was when Sonny revealed to the police that he doesn't know where Mary is, but he knew someone who knew where she was. And when they asked him who it was that knew the whereabouts of Mary, Sonny told them that is his boss, her husband, Francis Onebe. Sonny pretty much told the police that they should ask Francis Onebe where his wife is, that he knows where she is. And this gave the police a lead. Even around this period of time, Francis Onebe was a suspect, but he was told not to leave the country. He wasn't placed under arrest. He was just being monitored. But around this time that Sonny was found and arrested and questioned and he revealed and pointed finger at Francis, it was also said that Francis was making arrangements to travel out of the country to the UK, despite being told not to leave the country without permission. Francis was immediately picked and arrested, but he kept denying that he did not know where his wife was. It's still not clear, but it's almost as if Sonny himself revealed to the police where they could find Mary. Although it was also stated that since Sonny had pointed finger at Francis, that was when the police decided to search his house and the compound, and that was when the search led them to a septic tank in his compound where it was discovered that Mary's body had been kept. And that was how Mary was found. Eight months later after her disappearance, in the septic tank in the compound, of her own home where she shared with her husband. It was said she was tied and had been hit with a sharp object and most likely tortured and strangled before being dumped and submerged the heavy stone into the sewages housed in that septic tank. Her remains were recovered and it was also stated that another body was also found but no one could identify what that, but no one knew 
who that one was. Rumors had it that it was uh, a former house help. But however, the police focused on Mary's body. And when the body was found and pulled out of the soccerway pits in uh, Francis' house, Francis denied, claimed that that is not his wife. He does not know who that is, but it's not his wife. And then an autopsy was done and a DNA test was carried out and it turned out that that was indeed Mary Immaculate. And that was when Francis said that he did not know how she got there, making it to seem as though she was kidnapped and they killed her and the people brought her to his house to put her in the septic tank to set him up. That was what he was trying to allude. But then how does someone come into your own house to throw your wife in your own septic tank and you wouldn't know? So not many people believed it. And at the time, a lot of people were torn. Some people believed that he was the one who killed his wife. Some people believed that he may have been framed and set up. However, now that the case is in court, a lot of things are coming out. A lot of things have been revealed. Mary's daughter has spoken up. Her brothers are speaking out. And one thing that seemed to be a consensus is that Francis' family and relatives did not like Mary. It's not clear how Francis felt about Mary, given that they were once married and then they got separated and divorced for 14 years, 14 old years before they got back together in their older age and decided to remarry. So it's unclear why they separated the first time, but according to the brother, it seemed as though even back then when they were younger, the marriage was toxic for Mary. So I would assume maybe then too, she was still being accused of being a witch. But somehow after 14 years, it seemed as though Francis got his senses and got married to his wife again. Also, they ran a security agency where they hire security to uh, different households. And Mary Immaculate was the executive director of that company. Although she and Francis owned it, she was the executive there because Francis was a chartered accountant. So he already had his own business going. So Mary was the one overseeing the family business, which was the security agency that they both had. So I'm guessing that company that they had and shared together was what may have kept them closer to each other to the point that even after 14 years of separation, they were still able to get back together and get married. All the while, Francis had uh, another family. He had uh, children from another woman. And so that life was there. However, Mary eventually came back and they started living together as a family. And I think this is where a lot of our problems started coming when she came back to this man's life and continued being the executive uh, director of their family uh, business. And according to Mary's daughter, Green Court, she revealed to the judges that the stepdaughters of Mary, that is uh, Francis' children from the other woman, did not like Mary. And one of the children had some kind of mental issue or deformity or some kind of handicap situation. And one time the daughter recollected and revealed to the court that days before she vanished, she had an issue with one of Francis' daughters, one of her stepdaughters, who kept insulting her, calling her a witch, and accusing her of being behind the disability or mental issue that one of her stepdaughters have. But it didn't stop there. It was also revealed to the court that Francis' family has constantly accused Mary of being a witch, of having juju at home, of using charm, for Francis' family. Whenever Francis loses a loved one on his own side of the family, they blame it on Mary. If Francis' brother dies, they will say Mary killed him. If Francis' sister dies, they will say it's Mary that did it. If Francis' mother or any relative of Francis, if something bad happens to them, it all comes back to Mary. And maybe Francis would be speaking up for his wife, but over time, I guess, and I feel that it became too much, and they eventually got into his head. I'm sure they must have told him that she used Juju on him to get back to be with him. And it was also foiled with the fact that since she's running the company, she was giving jobs only to her own family members. Francis' own side of the family claimed that Mary did not employ anybody from Francis' side, despite the fact that the company belongs to Francis and, you know, she's just the wife and they're just saying that they co-owned it. So that kind of pissed off Francis' family members, saying that Mary is using juju and witchcraft to prevent members of Francis' family from being successful or from tapping from the wealth of their son, uncle, or brother, which was Francis. Even Mary's diary was discovered. And in her diary, she expressed a lot of fear. She expressed a lot of regret. She expressed so much of how her husband people hate her. Despite all the jobs she's doing, despite all the good work she's doing, they still mistreat her and call her a witch. And so far, the case is still ongoing. But this is what people are believing 
that this could have been the motive for Francis to kill his wife. Because other than that, there is nothing really. Unless maybe he was trying to keep the company for himself. Or unless maybe he suspected her of cheating. But those things have not been revealed. In fact, somehow, some way, it is believed that maybe it's Francis' own family members that kidnapped her and killed her. But he probably did not know or wasn't aware, given that they hate her so much. Because the daughter repeated in court that she blames her father because the father did not do enough to protect the mother. Which means, which indicates that it's possible that it's other family members that did it. It's possible that it could also be the stepdaughters. It's possible that it could also be someone else. At the same time, for the fact that Sonny was involved, it's also possible that Francis was the one who did it himself. Because eventually, when you keep hearing from everyone around you that your wife is a witch, including your own daughters are telling you that their stepmother is a witch, he most likely may have started believing it. According to investigation, they suspect that Mary may have been kidnapped on her way from the grocery stores and was taken somewhere to an uncompleted abandoned building where she was beaten and tortured and killed before being brought back into the family compound and dumped in the septic tank. And if that is the case, even if Francis did not do it, but I think he did, it is possible that whoever did it is a family member of his. It's someone who is on his own side of the family. Because it is obvious and clear that Mary was not welcomed into Francis' family. She was hated and blamed for everything. The case is still ongoing. Nothing substantial, strong enough has been revealed against Francis. The Gateman Sonny is still also facing trial. But I'm, I would love to hear what Sonny has to say. Since he was the one who went missing at the same time with Mary and he was the one who pointed at his boss, I feel like there is more for him to say. I feel like there is something. He, all he just has to say is, I did it, my boss sent me. But we haven't really heard that. So we just have to wait and see how this case turns out and how it unfolds. Because it's really unfair that this woman had to be killed, tortured, beaten for being a witch. By the family of the man she most likely has agreed to spend the rest of her life with. For me personally, having to hear that she had a lot of hatred from her husband's side, even her stepdaughters, accusing her of being a witch, accusing her of being behind family deaths, being behind people having mental illness, being behind people's misfortune. <sighs> I, there's no doubt in me that Francis did not do it. Either that or someone he knows did it. And he was aware of it and is protecting them. Because if he knew his daughters did it, he would probably protect them. If he knew someone, member of his family were the ones who killed his wife, he would most likely protect them. Maybe he knows who did it. If he did not do it, he knows who did it. And I still think that makes him guilty as much. That for eight months after your wife went missing, she was in the Sokaway pits in your compound. And you are crying on national television, pretending like she did not know where she was all this time. I feel like he knows. Because there's nothing that would go on in that compound that he would not know. I feel so. And I think he most likely asked Sonny to run away or leave because Sonny was the only one who witnessed it or he most likely paid Sonny and maybe that's why Sonny went for so long and decided to come back into the compound because he probably wants more money or because the boss told him to sneak into the compound so they would give him more money only for him to be caught and arrested and the case exposed itself because I don't know why Sonny the gateman would suddenly disappear too and then suddenly resurface jumping fence into the man's compound. What was he coming to do? He was definitely coming to see Francis. That's the only way I see it. And that was how they got exposed. Because why on earth, why is he coming back? <laughs> why? This is why in my mind, if you're getting married to uh, someone and the family members are already showing you signs that they, that they don't like you, fix it or just leave. Because over time, over time, they will eventually get into the head of this man. And the man will start looking at you all differently and start saying, wait though, these people are right though. Maybe this my wife is a witch or maybe she's the one and that's how you, the one you love will turn on you. It's really unfortunate though. I really pray she gets the justice that she deserves because this is an unjust killing. You, who kills someone for being a witch? Who does that? Even during the trial, it's been reported that Francis' family members are still standing on business, standing on their ground that Mary was a witch. They are still repeating it. There was a part of an article that I saw that said that they saw calabash on things in the village and it had been set on fire. But I don't know if they saw it in Mary's side or Francis' side. But I guess since Mary is the one being accused of being a witch, so they will claim it's from her own side. However, people are divided. Some people still believe Francis did not kill his wife. And many people are convinced he did. I, I am convinced he did. 
And like I said, if he did not partake or did not give the orders, somewhere along the line, I'm sure he knows who did it. Um, he's probably covering for the person because it's definitely someone from his own side of the family. The hate from that side is too much. So I'm sure he did it or he knows who did it. But you guys let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You could also turn on your notification button so whenever there is a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you guys for watching.